I can't believe my parents had me keep an award book. We won, um, what's it called? Oh my god, I really don't remember anything from my high school. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel if you're new uh, my name is Lee and I go to Amherst College today I will be talking about my only flex in life which is how I got into Amherst College I actually don't really know how I got in I actually question it every day but at the same time everyone at Amherst questions how they got into Amherst College so I guess I'm not the only one but although I don't know exactly how I got in I'll just give my stats and reasons why I think I got in so hopefully that will be helpful for you guys so first to give um a brief background about me i'm a first gen low income student and i went to a public high school with about 1300 students and i remember the academics there were pretty well known and pretty good for a public school they were ranked pretty high on the public schools list and it was kind of a competitive atmosphere because people would constantly be um, comparing grades and stuff which i didn't really like and i wanted to go to a school that still was good in academic standing but was a little less competitive about grades and that was one of the reasons why i actually ended up choosing amherst okay so i am now a junior at amherst so i applied to college three years ago and honestly i don't remember much from the application process i just remember it being really stressful and i just wanted to get it over with i don't remember anything from high school like any of my classes or teachers is so bad i obviously don't remember my scores or anything so i'm going to try to find that now and pull it up somehow so i can share with you guys this is so sad i couldn't find my high school transcript in my computer so i was like panicking because i was like oh i don't remember but then i remembered that when i was younger my parents gave me a binder which was basically like my awards binder and i would put all of my awards in here i don't know this is like such a weird thing now that i think back on it um, so I think my transcript should be in here. I remember when I was younger, my dad said that if I filled this whole binder up, he would buy me a car. And when I finally filled it all up, he just put more of these slot thingies in. So there were more pages for me to fill. A few moments later. <sighs> okay, so I finally found it. Um, it is my transcript, I think, from when I was applying for colleges. So it only has my grades um, up until junior year. And then for senior year, it just says um, work in progress. So my GPA while I was applying for college at that time um, was an unweighted GPA of 4.06 out of a 4.3 scale and a weighted GPA of 4.9 out of a 5.3 scale. So um, they were good, uh, but I wasn't at the top of my class, not in the top 10. Um, I don't know what percentile I was in because my school only ranked um, up to the top 10 students of my class and then everyone else after that was unranked. So I ended up graduating not knowing what my ranking was. In terms of AP classes, um, I took AP Chem, A Push, which is short for um, AP US History, AP Calculus, AP English, and AP Physics C. So I took five AP classes in total, but that was split between um, junior and senior year. So I didn't take all five in one year. I remember that I didn't take any AP tests. I forgot why. I think I just felt like they weren't worth taking. I wanted to focus more on taking um, the ACTs and the SATs to um, get my score up there. In terms of extracurriculars, I was part of my high school tennis team and we were a pretty good team. We won, um, what's it called? Oh my god, I really don't remember anything from my high school. <laughs> we would um, always be the finalist or win the tournament at the end of the year that all the high school teams would play 
and um, I was one of the starting members. I played number two singles for a while and then I moved to number one doubles my senior year. And I also was part of the marching band at my school. I played the flute. Being part of the marching band was a really fun and cool experience. Um, my high school had a huge marching band. We actually ended up um, going to Disneyland, I think every four years or something like that. And uh, we would actually play um, at Disney. So that was just how big my marching band was. And I think that was a really unique experience that my high school had. Outside of school, I also um, was in a rock band and I played the keyboard there. And I was also part of an orchestra that met um, once a week. Um, but I remember I quit that like my sophomore year but I still included it on my resume of extracurriculars because I was like why not so yeah I was playing flute I was playing violin and I was playing piano um, and I was also playing tennis okay so this is probably the moment you guys have all been waiting for is my ACT and um, SAT scores I ended up taking both tests because um, I didn't really have a preference for either and I was one of those kids that I would take the AC test and then I would take the SAT test and for some reason I would always get around the same score for both of them every time I took them so I ended up just submitting both my highest SAT and highest ACT scores um, just to send it to the schools and see which one they thought was better. I am actually a really bad studier, so even though I knew SATs and ACTs were a huge thing, um, I didn't study for them until um, the very last time I took them because I was like, I need to get my score up. So I really, really recommend that you please study, like even if it's like only 10 minutes a day, just study for it and your score will go up because there are a lot of like patterns that you'll start to see after you take the test a couple times and um, some repetitive questions that um, you'll get and if you just study the questions that you didn't know how to answer your score will definitely go up so i finally found it i'll just say my scores um, for my highest act in one sitting my math score was a 34 my science score was a 27 my English score was a 31 and my reading score was a 35 so that brought my composite score to a 32 and I got a score of 9 for my writing or my essay score that I took and then I got a 35 in science for a different sitting so my um, ACT super score ended up being a 34. For the SATs I got a 730 for the reading and writing section and a 760 for the math section um, so my total was a 1490 and I also got a where is it Oh, I got two eights and one seven for my SAT essay. But there you have it, those are my stats, um, my extracurriculars and background for how I think I got into Amherst College. And I'll probably make another video later about my college essay and some tips on how to write your college essay. I like looking back at my scores and just my high school life, it makes me feel so old. <laughs> Um, this was so long ago, but um, I know that it is a tough process for you guys now and um, I hope that I can help in any way that I can. Even though it might seem like a lot right now, like you'll definitely get through it. Um, it will end at one point. But that's everything that I have. If you feel like I missed anything or if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And if I remember how I did things three years ago, then I will also try to um, tell you about my own experiences and what I ended up doing. Um, but other than that, See you guys then. Good luck on your application process. Bye!
face killer, go gorilla for the bag. Uh, that boy be a pussy, kill the vibe, he a drag. Uh, autobiography gon' look like a brag. Huh? Let's get to the money, I'm on PT.